you're tired of lasing your bombs the entire time until they hit your target, I've got a solution for you. Let's start! So this video will be a shorter one just to cover the auto lasing feature that was added after I made my initial laser guided bomb videos. This video will not cover how to drop and deliver those bombs accurately. It will specifically focus on the auto lasing feature. So to get started with the auto lasing feature, you need to go into list, then zero for miscellaneous, and then five for laser. Then confirm that your TGP code is the same as your bombs code. You can open your kneeboard by pressing right shift and K. And you can see my bombs laser code is 1745. So I'll make sure that my TGP's code is also 1745 and enter. If I go dauber down, this is a dauber switch. If I press it down twice, I go into the laser start time. This is how you set up auto lasing. This value is how many seconds before estimated impact the laser will start firing by itself. Currently I'm carrying a 2000 pound GBU-10 Paveway 2 bomb and a 2000 pound GBU-24 Paveway 3 bomb. For the Paveway 2s, this being the GBU-10 and GBU-12, I'd suggest 15 seconds of laser start time. And this is what I'll start with, I'll press enter. And after we drop the GPU-10, I'll show you the configuration for the GPU-24. So my first target as viewed through the TGP is this C-130 sitting on the ramp. Before I get to my target, I want to make sure that my master arm is set to on and my laser is armed. Okay, I have 8 seconds before drop, I will start pressing the weapon release button. And bomb away. Now I'll start my lasing orbit and make sure to look at the time until estimated impact because I set it to 15 seconds. 15 seconds before estimated impact, my laser should automatically by itself start lasing. 17, 16, 15, and laser is firing completely by itself. I'm not pressing the first stage of the trigger right now. Bomb should hit just about now. Jack! And now I can just go ahead and extend away from the target. The laser will stop by itself 30 seconds after the estimated impact happened. There we go, the laser stopped. This is not 30 seconds after the actual impact, it's 30 seconds after the estimated impact, which often have a difference of a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going for this enemy radar on the ground, and I will switch to the GBU-24. I've already set it up. Again, this video will not cover setting up the bombs, just setting up the auto -laze feature. To watch my GBU-24 guide, check the link at the top right side of your screen right now. Now I'll go again into list, 0 for miscellaneous, 5 for laser, go down with the dauber switch twice, and 15 seconds will not be enough for a paveway 3 bomb, so I suggest switching it to 45 seconds for the GBU-24. Now I can press return to go back to the main menu, and let's go for this attack. Okay, I am in range, I will drop the bomb, bombs off. And I'll start the lasing orbit. 45 seconds laser is starting to laze completely by itself. I am not pressing the button. And the bomb should hit just about now. There we go, shack. Laser will stop in 30 seconds after the estimated impact time will pass. There you go, the laser has stopped by itself. And this is how you use the O2 laser feature in the DCS F-16 Viper. It makes dropping laser guided bombs a lot more convenient, especially for these Paveway 3s that require a much longer lasing time. I hope you found this helpful, and if you missed my 
laser guided bomb tutorials and you're wondering how I drop them and how I set these weapons up for the drops, make sure to check them on the left and right sides of your screen right now. And once you're done checking with them, make sure to land safely.